Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, what we'll see is that we'll see how to work with IPython notebooks a little more detail. Last time what we saw is that we'll saw how to work, how to uh, start an IPython notebook, the needs, reasons for IPython notebook, okay? And we'll see this, how to start one, okay? We'll see how to work with the IPython notebook. Now, the IPython notebook has is actually made up of uh, cells now what a cell is is nothing but just a space uh, just a space where it allows the user to write a code or contents into it and when and they get executed one one after the other so if you have a say set of codes written in a written in a cell and if you want to exit and then if you press shift enter or control enter okay all the codes in that particular cell will be executed together so if you have any contents as well they will be executed together ok now for instance uh, this green box over here uh, tells that this is actually a cell and this cell has two parts one is the input part the other one is the output part ok now the input part has one content into it and this content is no this actually is nothing but a print statement and it says hello guys what is going on so if I want to execute this, okay, press Control Enter, and there you have it. There you have it. You may, um, there you have it. If this code, uh, I mean, executes, the output will come uh, will come at the bottom. Okay. Now, now this is another cell wherein uh, you have two statements input, two statements inside. Uh, the numpy, uh, we are importing the NumPy module and the matplotlib pyplot module together. So if I press Control Enter, you might have noticed there was a star in bit star for a short while that indicating that the operation has been some operation I mean it's been processing. Now now it has gone, so indicating that this cell is executed. Now we are in the third cell. Suppose if I want to create a variable x, let's say, and that has to vary between zero and four pi with it has two hundred two thousand and one points. The length space is used, so if you press Ctrl Enter, it works. But there's a thing. All these three, these two cells do not have any output. They just have some code to be executed, which does not have any output. So as a reason, you don't have any output. On the other hand, if you see this cell over here, I just press X. If I just pr press Ctrl Enter, it prints out this statement. Why? Because because okay this is an output statement if you press x and press enter it will show it's an array so this is an output statement so you get the output about the bottom okay similarly why is why is an output statement why is a statement okay it does not have an output so if you just press shift enter it just the y variable gets store i mean done it gets stored in the memory and that's it and uh, see if you guys want to have a plot that is kind of embedded within your ipython notebook you have to use this magic command matplotlib inline with the first sign in the front okay so, uh, whereas on the other hand if you want the plot to be displayed in a separate window okay use matplotlib qt or matplotlib tinker or kinter whichever you call it so if you press this now the uh, now the notebook is set such that all the plots will will do will do and they are automatically be embedded in the code want to see now what I do is that if I press plot plt dot plot if I press enter shift enter the plot function will work and uh, the plot gets embedded within the within the cell itself okay within the notebook itself okay and now suppose if you want the plot to be in a, in a come in a separate window use matplotlib qt and then use the same command over here okay the output in the, you'll just get one indication that you have a plot okay and the plot will come in a separate window watch if i press shift enter okay there, and there's one more thing if you press control enter okay it'll just do the operation and it'll just go to the next cell okay if the if, if, if i mean it'll go to the next uh, it'll remain in the same cell or go to the next cell and be remain as it is if you need to press shift enter it'll do the operation and if there's no next cell afterwards it'll just create a new cell and that's a small difference between these two these two but doesn't not does not make a much difference so if you just press shift enter and there you have it because of this qt command you get the entire plot exactly the same plot if you see in a separate window nothing more nothing less
okay and then what i can do is that if i want to make the plot a little more fancy or if i want to experiment it i can do it here for instance let me come and this uh, let me come on these lines um okay let me come in these lines i save it now what i do is that i just may told the compiler that okay i'm go sorry uh, notebook that the plot will be in line so if i press control enter okay now see now the plot has all the grids and everything if i press control shift enter or control enter okay now the plot is just a plain plot with no other uh, accessory features and everything okay now what i do is that uh, let me just include this legend now if i press shift enter if you see the value instead of 9 it just became 10 indicating that you have an update and the plot gets also gets updated in now it's sign of x the legend has come now if i press this if i uncomment this line and i press shift enter notice the value it's 10 now it will become 11 watch okay now it became 11 the output also became 11 and if you see uh if you see the data is ready over here the data the data is ready over here and the and, the, and you have the x label printed and now if i remove this up and save this and if i just press shift enter now you have an a y label in addition okay not only that if you not only that if you want, now if you want the axis to be set rigid okay using this command we use a set command press shift enter now we see the difference now the plot has plot has been adjusted the axis has been adjusted accordingly now let me give y te x text uh, and if i press shift enter look at your x axis you get lot of lines like this indicating that you have text been imported and if you see the text have been imported indicated here in the uh, x axis okay now if i include this option initially the ticks are between ticks are spaced between 0.5 now you will have a lot more ticks over here so if i press uh, shift enter you get a lot of white ticks over here and uh, they the axis gets broken into even more several this features parts now if i press plot dot grid okay if i press this now the this entire plot does not have any grids now if i press shift enter there you have it you have a lot of grids over here grid boxes and everything over here that's about it and this is how you make uh, this is how you make uh, use ipad notebooks for your own fancy fancy purposes now not only that if you want to do a lot more options it's also available so for instance let me create a new value called z equals uh, um, z equals um, something like uh, x power x power 2 plus art power okay x power 2 uh, plus y okay if i were to plot plt or plot uh, x comma z okay presenter we have a plot like this okay like that if you want to do any kind of operation where you just have to work a lot and uh, make some documentation or anything you can do this in python notebooks okay now now coming back to the presentation again okay like this you can write short sets of codes and execute them and get the output immediately also you can make the you can also write text uh using markdown option and you can also have uh the options to make cells when uh, cells to have other options like markdown titles and everything and all the variables that you create uh all the variables that you create in the notebook and uh, which get executed they are accessible by all the other cells okay now what actually happens is that this is actually a you have an ipython kernel running at the background when you have a notebook and so whatever you do all the operations gets updated in the kernel and the notebook is just a representation of what you want to do that's it that's a, that's about it it's nothing much nothing very nothing very fancy or serious about it very simple as that 
okay now in the next tutorial uh, sorry and uh, okay we saw this like how to how to open this visa go open go to the terminal type ipython notebook and then create your uh, go to new notebook python and then click to open tabs and your notebook is ready and we also saw how to type the code open a cell okay type commands in a group preferably and then press control enter or shift enter to, to get the job done for instance if you type like this and press shift enter or control enter this entire code will get printed uh, executed similarly you have markups and everything and it's good for documentation now in the next tutorial we'll see how to make the documentation of this okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time